<laughs> this is this is machine porn right here. So we usually stop by at uh, customers' uh, places every now and then just to see what they're doing with uh, some of our machines. So in this case, we went to visit uh, Ben. Can say his last name? Obi Wan Warren. Uh, he's one of our favorite customers. Um, he has a Green Bull uh, 6X, which is a 6x12. That's a laser mounted. Yeah. Laser coming out. Big ass laser on it. We were gonna go to Ben's um, workshop really to guide him on how to use the laser and test it to see if it even worked because he was complaining about some uh, some issues that the laser wasn't putting out as much wattage. We tested it with an actual watt meter and we tested it with a, a probe for high for the high tension line and it showed to be uh, operating normally and it was uh, over here we actually showed it to be operating at 40 watts but. When we, get over, when we got over there, we noticed that the lens had some had some issues with it. It actually had a burn spot in the center of it. So we chucked that lens, we put another lens in, it worked. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you have a dirty lens, you, you're not gonna get the same kind of output. I wanna thank Ben for allowing us into his shop and, and showing off his machine. He gave us a very warm welcome. He also added a uh, fan for his power supply, for his laser, uh, which is mounted in the, in, into the C-axis. He added a, a fan to cool down the power supply, which is a great idea. He also created a face uh, that was mounted into, into the power supply with, with the CNC. This, there's also a voltage meter and an amp meter. He has a standard compressor and a valve on this compressor so it pushes air through the nozzle and then into the kerf where the laser is cutting because all this buildup of carbon gets into that kerf and to, to laze more efficiently or laze even deeper what you got to do is you got to get all that carbon out so the laser is actually working on the wood and not being absorbed by the carbon. system was really small we don't have you don't have to have a, a huge bucket of water as long as your water is being cooled enough he has a little tiny beer can size canister that holds yeah. the water and he has a, an actual water pump on yeah water pump he's got a water pump on the top on the bottom of this canister pumping the water through the radiator the fans in the radiator into the spindle or through the spindle that's <laughs> uh, so for having a radiator and uh, 22 on it <laughs> so there, right? He's got a right? He's got 22s. He has 22s. He has 22s. What if he's driving the yeah. down, the, down the street? He has a um, a relatively small cooling system for the spindle. That's the uh, spindle cooling system. And you're putting a fan on this way. This is the radiator. Yeah. The PC cooling system. Okay. And radiator. You need a cable chain. I know. I do. <laughs> No, this is the way I used to do it, so it's right. It's right. fine. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And this is the VFD. VFD. I'm cutting this out with a uh, a one sixteenth bit as opposed to the laser. Mm -hmm. well, I was really pleased with the the cut yeah. on the one sixteenth bit. That's almost laser like, isn't it? But this is the material I've got trouble lasing. It's, it's like high quality aircraft five or six ply. Oh yeah, he he makes he makes pretty cool shit with the. Uh, uh, what does he make? Uh, yeah, remote control aircraft. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, we were uh, able to uh, see some of the prototypes and stuff that he has uh, created with the machine. This is foam, right? This is the pink insulation foam. Assemble it um, and then you cover it with brown paper and polycrylic. I see a hole in your table yeah. and there's a router bit in it. Yeah. Well, because when you're cutting the tabs off, I'd put a flesh trim bit in there and then I'd just cut the tabs off real quick. And he had a couple issues with the laser at the time, so we were able to help him out with those as well. But he first called us and telling us uh, he has purchased 
uh, one of our machines from someone else, somebody else. Um, so that was kind of cool finding out that machines are getting around, uh, you know, in the, in the what do we call it, black market. <laughs> <laughs> So he got CNC black market. CNC black market, and he wanted to update it, uh, update the, some of the components and some of the features that we have. Uh. I think we could learn a lot from Ben, and the way he has everything set up on the on the, on the gantry. It might add some inertia to the gantry, but we but the motors on the gantry are pretty tough. If you if you near us, you know we are located in Houston, Texas. Um, give us a call, and then uh, we can maybe drive by and uh, sell your shit. <laughs> Or, or sell you some shit. Maybe get some ideas from you as well. And the feedback and maybe help you out that way. <laughs>